Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, crazy anti-Semite Roger Waters denies that October 7 ever happened. Obviously, it just makes sense when you believe the lies or when you run by demons, and in this case, run by demons. Roger Waters spoke to Piers Morgan and denied that babies were burned and women raped on October 7th. There's no evidence, Waters says. Then he turns to his left and starts speaking to himself. Right? I'm going to post this clip here. You have a look at it. All the filthy, disgusting lies that the Israelis told after October 7 about burning babies and women being raped were completely rubbish, he claims. Morgan interrupts him and says, actually, women were raped. Walters, Waters responds, they weren't raped. Morgan's replies, yes, they were. And he even refers to the fact that the UN has confirmed this evidence. The presenter corrects him and indicates this. That there is extensive evidence of sexual assault and rape. Also, we know what Hamas broadcast on social media themselves. At this point, Waters turns to his left and has a full-on conversation with seemingly himself. But I'm telling you, he's communicating with a demonic entity, familiar spirit. You can see in the way he's doing it, he's not trying to be funny, he's not joking, he's very emotional and angry, and he's being pulled, his actual attention, he is seeing something, he is listening to something and having a full-on conversation with this thing before he comes back to Piers Morgan and continues with the interview. That is what's happening. People are clouded demonically by spiritual powers and principalities, and if you go to Ephesians 6 from verse 10, it says the following, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness. In the heavenly places, therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Then it continues and tells you exactly how to wear the full armor of God. We are seeing this, this that you'll see in this clip I'm going to attach to this video. This is spiritual hosts of wickedness, principalities, the darkness of this age, powers in heavenly places. All these evil demonic forces that are enshrouding people's minds with deception. Familiar spirits supposedly helping them, but controlling their thought processes and dragging them to hell slowly but surely. So look at this. It's shocking. And while you look, realize and look at his body language and his facial, you'll see he is talking to something. Something that is there. And I... Having experienced spiritual warfare, having seen angels and demons in the ministry many times, know these things exist and they are real. They are not just stories. He is communicating with one in this clip. So make sure you realize we battle not against flesh and blood. We battle against those things he's busy talking to in this clip. We are truly at the very end. And the enemy is rolling out all their forces in battle, coming against us strong. But we will stand and shine the light until our time comes that we get removed. Shalom. All the filthy, disgusting lies that the Israelis told after October the 7th. Like what? About burning babies and women being raped, which were all completely... Actually, women were raped. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. Well, there's no evidence. It's been, well, it's been established by the you United Nations. You can say Nations. anything that you want, but there's no evidence. But actually, there is extensive evidence. There is no of evidence. sexual assault and oh. rape. Well, there is. OK, well, all right, now. Also, we know what Hamas Roger, broadcast Roger, on social media. calm down. Roger, Roger, hmm. calm down. Don't sink to his level. All right, I won't. What level? Well, stop shouting. Stop shouting back. Let him interrupt you as much as you can. Okay. Uh, sorry, Piers, what were you saying?